Hello everyone, welcome back again. So in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to also use another alternative called Flask RESTful to be able to build an API. So in the previous tutorial, we learned about how to use Flask and Jacentify, which we're able to build something interesting. Now let's see how to use Flask RESTful to be able to build our API. So I'm just going to copy the old one we did. Then let's save it so that we can have it for another usage as reference. So it's going to be our app one right zero one perfect so let's save it one and then let's close this one now let's see how to work with flash restful so to work with flash restful the most important thing is that you're not going to be using jasonify and also use jasonify but let's take off the previous thing and start everything from scratch right so i'm just going to close all of these things take everything off right so that we have only our data right the data that we have and then our app, something very basic, right? Perfect. So if I go back now, it's going to give us an error because it's not seeing this one again. So let's see how to work with Flux RESTful, right? So we're just going to import it from the top, from Flux, Flux RESTful, import resource, and then API, right? So we're importing resource and then API. So these are the main things that we need to help us work with Flux RESTful, right, to build an API, perfect. Then I'm just going to initialize my app with this, then pass my API around my app. So, so it's going to be our API, it's going to be API app. That is all that we need, perfect. So now we are able to see the functionalities of Flask RESTful within our app, within our Flask app. Let's build our first route, so app.route. This is going to be a simple app that you have built route, but it's going to be for our index. Then I'm going to go with dev in this, then I'll pass in nothing, right? So this is going to be return something very, something very basic. So simple API with RESTful, RESTful, right? Something like that, very basic. Perfect. So that is a basic start there. So if I come back here, take off all of this. Then let's start again, refreshing it. Simple API with RESTful, very, very interesting. Now let's see how to see the very, how to use RESTful to create an API from this. So the simplest way is that I'm just going to, first of all, create your class, right? Flask RESTful requires you to create class resources or class models, right? Or schemas. So let's see how to do that. So it's going to be our class, let's put class books then i'm going to go with my simple resource i'm going to inherit from resource here then from here i can just go with defining my schema so it's going to be def then get we are using get right so in case you want to use post you just go with post in case you want to use put you just go with put so let's go with get perfect and then here i can just go with self then i'll pass in my book title Right, or I can just pass in the title for the title that I'm using. Then from here, I can just go straight away and give it the same thing that we did in the previous tutorial. So in that case, it's going to be I can just define it as book, right? Then use the same thing that we did, which is say book. Let me expand it so that I can see it very well. So book for book in my books, right? If my book title is equal to title right that is what you are doing right you are trying to get books right it's going to be for getting books very very simple if that is the case then return that book right then here i can specify and give it something interesting like let's name like if my length of book if my length of book is zero i want to add some error to it then I want you to say a bot 404. Then I can just return otherwise. So Jasonify. Then I'll return the resource, right? That is something very basic that I'm trying to build, right? Return my book. Then I'll pass in the book here. Something very basic. So in Flux RESTful, the most important thing is that you're going to define your class resource right or your schema so that is the most important thing you're going to do it's going to be get so in case you want to add put just go with say get the def 
put you define that one in case you want to want to move on to the rest right that is how you're going to do it very simple perfect now how do you work on it how do you actually make it an api so the simplest way is that you're just going to define your resources you define your endpoint so i'm going to go back here then i'm going to define my endpoints and my resources so my endpoint is going to be my endpoint and then resources right so it's going to be very simple i'm going to go with the api that i have at the top we had api here we define this api here so we're going to go with api dot add a resource so a resource is something that retains the data right so mostly resources are something that retain the data so resource then i'm going to pass in the resource i've defined which is book perfect then i can just give the route so the particular route i want it to be so it's going to be my api so backslash api backslash my v1 version one right then backslash my books it's supposed to be always plural right so this is how to define a simple resource point and then you can use using rest for right plus rest for so if i save it now and i come back to here the same place i have everything is working as expected we have the first one working so in case i want to access this i can just go straight away to the same thing i did backslash api backslash v backslash books I'm going to give us an error so get missing one like personal argument title right so the reason it's missing that argument is because we forgot to supply the title we had title here so to, to have to define the title here right which is going to be the one that you'll be using right very interesting so i'm just going to go with the same format i had it's going to be string then title perfect right so we're going to take the title then it's going to give it to us so if i save it and i come back here to here and i go back to the particular title that i have so we realize we have some books things fall apart so that is coming perfectly right so i can also do the same thing with my postman which we had which was this so if i come back to the same place i have i paste in my route right and then there's the book i go with send that's going to retain the result for us right sending going to retain the result for us so if i go back to this the headers everything is working then if i go to the body i can see my result right so i can see that just coming here very very interesting right with postman so that is something very basic right so the basic idea with working with flash restful is that first of all just going to import resource and api from flash restful then going to pass it around your app then your data the one you're using we're going to create a class right referring to what you wanted to do then you defined your resource so let's define another resource which is going to be for everything it's going to be api so we define another resource to get everything so let's call it here with the class books list right we are getting a resource for all the books so resource then i'll just go with def dot to get itself it doesn't take any argument and from here i'm just going to retain my justify books so i can just retain everything i can just retain the entire stuff it's going to be the same thing i have here right so it's going to be this but this is going to be plural Right, it's going to be plural books very interesting so these books is referring to our books here right perfect so that is how to find another resource and i have to add that resource here as api dot app resource then i'll pass in here as books list right totally different from the first one then i can just give the route api slash v1 slash books Right, so without the, with this, without any query or parameter, it's going to give us all the books. If I save it now, and I come back here to my postman, right, and I take off this, and I go with send, it's going to bring everything for me. So sending, so sending request, it's giving us a no, could not get any response because I think I made a mistake somewhere. So let's go back to what you have done so far. Let's save it. 
so if you're not getting a response so let's check and see the error that we are having mm. okay mm, so it gives us an a backslash error because we forgot this right <laughs> we forgot this slash it's supposed to be a backslash here right that is how to work it so I'll save it and then let's run it again we run it again perfect everything is working as expected now let's go back to our browser so let's take it off here it's going to give us an error right everything is working perfect right so it is working as expected with the flags restful right so what we omitted was this and then if i check it in the postman here let's send it again sending it sending voila right every result is coming perfectly so that is how to build an api with flags restful right so the basic idea is that first of all you're just going to import resources and api from flash restful then you pass it around your app then you just create your first class to get everything another class to get to get individual stuff here there's several ways you can do this and then also to get your books right to get everything then you're going to define your resource right your endpoint by giving the class you supplied and then what you wanted to do so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next session in case you have not subscribed you can also subscribe to this channel and check the link below for some interesting materials to master python and machine learning thank you and i'll see you in the next session stay blessed